Okay, this is a very short video, um, just explaining how the EGR system works on a Ford Transit. This is a EGR from a Mark 7 Transit, um, just purchased off a pretty well-known auction site online. Um, I think it was about £40. Chances are it's not a genuine part, it'll be a Chinese reproduction, I would imagine. Um, so you've got the cooling inlet and outlet here, EGR. Uh, and that's the actual valve itself there, um, which you can see the inner workings from there. And at the top you've got the connector, um, which has got a connector there that uh, just slides off, pretty simple. Uh, this silver housing pries off with a screwdriver. and that just keeps the housing together. So this is the actual motor unit. So you've got the connector there, and then the plastic part simply slides off. Now here, you've got the connectors here um, for the power, and then up into this section here is some kind of position sensor. Now on the connector, there's only there's uh, six wires, but I'm pretty sure that only five of them are used um, on this particular one, red and brown, are to supply power to the motor, and then some combination of these, uh, the three, will be for your position sensor. Now, you can see here from the the motor, um, you've got your power connectors here and here, and then a series of gears, and all that happens is that when you power it up see if I can get this back into position you could turn that and as you turn it Even another hand to hold it in place. If you could see there, there you can see it clearly through there, it's open up the valve through that cog there. And as soon as you let go, it springs closed. Um, so that basically means that when there's no power to the system, the spring will force the EGR valve closed. Um, the motor from this one's actually burnt out, so I, otherwise I'd connect it up and show you this is broken so that is basically it um, so if you disconnect the connector from the top obviously the EGR gets no power um, and it remains shut however the problem with that is that it won't then get any feedback from the position sensor inside here which is why you'll get an engine warning light so unfortunately you can't just disconnect these um, to shut your EGR system off um, you can blank them with plates that you can put across these parts. Um, usually throws up uh, an engine management warning again, which means you have to drill holes through them, which sort of defeats the point of, a, of an EGR blank, really. Um, that's how they work. Um, most common failures, I would imagine, would be the, the motor in here, like this one, which is burnt out. Um, these gears probably wind down, sorry, grind down through use and wear out um, and your position sensor in in here as well um, not really serviceable the parts you have to buy them as a whole unit uh, I think the genuine ones are a few hundred pounds or you can chance you up with these the problem is getting them online and getting them cheap please you don't know how well made they are I mean this one looks nice and clean and but you don't know how well these Faces have been finished, uh, you don't know how well they're going to seal, how well they're going to last, you don't know how good the seal is in here either, um, so you just got to be careful if you are buying cheap. Um, might look for the business, but uh, might not last very long. Okay, thank you very much.